Darlings, I am back with another video from my Chanel perfume collection. Today's video is going to be all about Chants au Tendre and it's one of my loved, most loved, loved perfumes from the collection. I love this fragrance because it's so delicate, feminine. So I'm going to go through my entire collection with you. This is everything that I own from the Chants au Tendre collection. So let's start off with the fragrance itself. Starting off with the pink one, which it is known for its beautiful pink hues. This is a beautiful, delicate floral that opens up with quince and grapefruit. In the heart of this perfume, you have hyacinth and jasmine, and in the base, you have amber, you have cedar and musk. This is simply stunning. I have a 100ml bottle here, which is your 3.4 ounce bottle. This fragrance was originally created in 2010 by Jack Polge for Chanel and this is a beautiful light floral fragrance that I love to wear in the daytime. This perfume is your ultimate feminine fragrance that smells wonderful for a daytime perfume. This has also been my most complimented scent Every time I wear this, guys, it's always complimented and I feel like it radiates quite well. I tend to overspray this perfume because this is an EDT formula and I would wear and top this up maybe every four hours or so. So I feel like people will always smell this on me. That's why I'm going to receive those compliments because it's such an enjoyable daytime scent. It's very soft with the musk notes in the dry down but I love the floral powdery notes in the opening, the quince, grapefruit. I think it's just such a feminine daytime scent. This is one of the perfumes by Chanel that's the most versatile as well because I feel like it's going to suit everyone. It's not overwhelming, it's not too strong, it's not a very rich, bold, pungent scent. It's very much a soft feminine floral with musky dry downs so i do love this one so this is my edt i have the eau de parfum version here this was released in 2019 this now has a heart of rose and jasmine and this one is the rosier version it still opens up with your grapefruit and it does have a dry down of musk as well this to me is a very strong version of the original. This perfume is rose and jasmine. It's really nice, guys. It's a lot stronger, it's heavier, it smells more serious compared to the EDT version. And I do like this version. I have to say, if I was to compare the two, I would have to pick my EDT because it's a little bit more sparkling. I find it easier to wear. It does smell like your daytime scent, whereas this one smells like daytime, but definitely more evening with that heavy note of rose in the heart. So I have 200 mils here, and this one I've only just bought. I haven't used this one as yet. I haven't even opened it, but I do have my 150 mil bottle, which I am trying to finish here, guys. Do you remember at the start of 2022, I was showing you how much I've gone through this perfume? I mean, look at it now. I've really been wearing this, it's down here now. My intentions were to finish this perfume because this is a large bottle. And for me, this has lasted me for more than five years without it turning on me. And it still smells perfectly new. I do store my fragrances really well. So if you do buy a large bottle, try and go through it, I would say before seven years at least, but this is probably older than five years now. And um, that's my EDT version. So that's the two together. That's your 100 mil here and my 150 mil. And obviously <laughs> the one I have here has been through all the elements I've traveled with this one, it's been in my bag, it's been in my car, it's been everywhere. But you can see, um, I just want to show you the differences between the new and old bottle in case you wanted to see how it tarnishes a little. It does change color over time, but we're talking about five years here. <laughs> so that's the two in comparison there. I do also have my pear spray as well, and this is a 20ml atomizer, which 
I'm getting through a lot now. I need to almost replace this one. But because I have the 150ml bottle here, I couldn't really always travel with this because it's huge and quite heavy. So I bought the atomizer. And it comes with, if I show you here, it does come with three cartridges. So I need to replace it here. So in total, you get 60ml, which I think is really nice. The pair spray is quite pricey in comparison to the actual bottle. So in terms of value for money, I would go for either a 50ml or 100ml bottle. And the pair spray is only available in the EDT formula, which is my favorite one here as well. Also from the range, I have my Moisture Mist, which is a very light mist that you can just spray on the skin to add some moisture to your skin and also the fragrance. It is so soft, so clean. One of my most feminine scents, guys. I do carry this around with me a lot in the summer um, because I don't always want to wear a heavy perfume and I feel like it can evaporate even faster. So I tend to just moisturize with this. I would usually apply my daily moisture on first in the mornings and then I'll top it up with this to add a little bit more moisture and some fragrance. So and that's the moisture mist. The next item I have in my collection is my deodorant spray. I bought this recently and this is the first time I'm actually owning this deodorant from the Chance range. I have to say when wearing this guys, I love the smell of this. It smells exactly like the perfume. It's how you would want it to smell. It's fresh, it's powdery, it's floral. It's a little bit of grapefruit, jasmine. It's a bit of like grapefruity, musky notes. It's really powdery, floral. It smells beautiful. And I was really surprised at how similar this is to the perfume. Oh, it smells just like the perfume. I do recommend this if you were looking for a body spray or a deodorant, because this is only deodorant, this doesn't go over your body at all, um, then I would go for this, especially in the summer, and you want to add an antiperspirant, and you still want some perfume, then try this one. I have the shower gel as well from this collection, and I have been using quite a bit of this. I think I am about somewhere here. <laughs> Um, for the shower gel now so this will need replacing quite soon I've been wearing this a lot during the spring months but I haven't seen this on Chanel's website to buy so I'm not too sure what's going on with their body care I have a feeling they're going to change everything they might just keep the packaging you know the same I'm hoping they will do but I have a feeling they're going to come out with everything once again. I was a huge fan of, well I still am, of Chanel Allure and I used to have the shower gel, the body cream, the soap, the deodorant spray, the hair mist and everything has disappeared. So I have a feeling that Chanel is renewing something and these items should be coming back. I did speak to a SA and they did say to me they are changing things up and we should see all those items back in stock once again but I couldn't tell you when that's going to be. So my shower gel here is moisturizing, it foams very well, lots of bubbles and things and it does make your bathing experience really pleasant, especially on a spring morning. This smells like a walk in the park. It just smells beautiful and floral. It smells like your garden, it's just really nice for the daytime. So I do recommend this one here. Next I have the Body Moisture and this smells exactly like the perfume. It's soft, powdery, floral. It smells like Chantal Tendre. It's really beautiful, girly, feminine. And this again, another trick you could do is just have this in your bag or decant a little bit into like a smaller jar because this is a 200 ml bottle and it is a little bit weighty um, but I would just apply this over my skin and I have done this so if I'm out and about and um, yeah I actually have done this I apply a little bit of cream on my hands just a tiny amount as much as you like 
and then you can just sort of dab it on like in a few areas by your skin and it smells like you've just applied perfume so I do love that and that's without having the perfume and that's if you don't want to carry perfume or you don't want to spray during the summer months as well then I do recommend just using a scented lotion but this is creamy it's a light formula as well I wouldn't say that this is going to be extremely moisturizing if you have very dry skin I normally tend to use this on my upper area here and on my arms I rarely put this on my legs or anything like that and I think just the upper area here just to allow my fragrance to stick as a form of layering oh, guys this is so nice so 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 nice guys honestly I mean I wish Chanel would do this for every collection that they have this smells beautiful now this is the scented bath tablets I haven't used this as yet but when you take off the jar or when you take the lid off the jar you do smell chance or tendre and uh, it's powdery it's floral and I love it um, I can't wait to try this but I would definitely treat myself it might be something a little bit extra but if you were gifting someone I think this would be nice to give as a gift because it's very unique it's different I believe it's limited edition but I have seen that they still sell this in John Lewis so head to John Lewis in case you can't find it anywhere else in London and um, the boutique in London as well I'm not so sure if they have it I haven't asked but um, yes I do recommend this and just look can I show you again I've done a whole video all about this as well so check out that video but you can see inside the tablets there. So that's so lovely, it's so pretty, really nice gift. So that completes my entire collection for my Chance range. And I'm just going to go through briefly which ones I prefer and why. And I'm just gonna give you guys a few recommendations on whether it's worth buying. So as you guys know, out of the two, we have EDT and we have Eau de Parfum. I prefer the EDT because it's bright it's fresh it's long lasting and when I say long lasting you will smell this on your skin for about 10 hours and in order to smell the fragrance yes you will have to bring your arm up to smell it but it's going to stick on your skin so this does last all day long and in terms of it radiating for yourself to enjoy and others I would say about three to four hours so you're going to allow this scent to dance around the room for a few hours and have others compliment you because I receive the most compliments with this. Um, but I find this to be the lighter, more sparkling, delicate, feminine version. Whereas here I have my Eau de Parfum. This to me is deep rose, jasmine heart. It's a heavy rose, it's bold. And it does last on my skin, guys, for about three to four hours. And it's an eau de parfum. This is EDT, guys. And this is lasting much longer than my eau de parfum here. So my recommendations to you, do you need both perfumes? I would say absolutely not. <laughs> you do not need both whatsoever. I will definitely admit that when I bought the Eau de Parfum, after reading the notes and checking the reviews, I was convinced that this was going to smell like rose in abundance. And to be honest, it's not strong enough to separate the two to make me really feel like I need to have both. Um, this one just smells like the original, but it is darker. It's a darker version of it but it's not long lasting guys. And this one is on a higher price point than the EDT. I would say save your money, go for the EDT because you're going to get longevity, you're going to receive compliments. I would say I receive compliments of this one anyway, but I feel like because I wear this fragrance so much, I don't think people can detect I'm wearing a different version of it. So, I mean, don't go out and buy this because you're going to get the most, you know, compliments i think it's because you like this version it's your favorite and each to their own if you prefer this one then absolutely just in my experience i find it doesn't last very long it's an eau de parfum but it doesn't perform like one 
but still I love the bottle I don't mind the fragrance you can layer the two you can put this as a base on your skin and then top it up with this one and I do do that <laughs> sometimes as well I love this collection so of course I'm going to own this one and also to review with you guys I do buy some fragrances for you guys too so I can review them um, but Yes, this one, I would say, if you had to pick one, the EDT is the better of the two. Let me continue with the pattern of what you should buy my top three. I would definitely say the, um, oh yes, here it is. So if I only had to pick three, why would I pick them? This beautiful EDT, absolutely compliment getter, lasts all day long, smells so beautiful, so feminine, perfect, versatile daytime scent, it's perfect for summer. Then I would go in with my deodorant spray, which is this one here. It smells exactly the same as the fragrance. Really nice and refreshing. Nice to travel with or put in your handbag, so I do recommend that. And then lastly, you have to own a moisturizing cream because it doubles up as a perfume. It's not going to radiate very far, but you will smell it on your skin and it makes you feel very elegant and feminine. It's really beautiful. I find the lotion extremely pleasant to wear. It's just such a pretty scent. It's something you can top up on your skin and apply throughout the day. So if I had to pick three, it would be these. So those would be my top three picks from the collection if you were new to Shons, then these are the three items that you must own. Thank you, my darling, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my collection video. If there is anything else you would like to see from my Chanel perfume collection, please let me know down below. And would you like to see my entire Chanel collection? Um, let me know as well, because I am going through each collection by collection individually, or would you like to see everything together and maybe I can pick my top five from the whole of my Chanel collection? Um, let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this fragrance. Do you own the Chance? And if you don't, which one would you buy from the whole collection as well? If you are new here, thank you for watching. And I would love for you to join my family of darlings here where I talk about fragrances, lifestyle, everything feminine, and of course, tea. So darlings, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.